Alright guys, welcome back. You know, it's, uh, it's been a little while since my last video. Thought I'd give you guys an update today on what's going on with the, uh, what's going on with the Versa, what's going on with the RX-7, what I'm doing in the meantime, all that stuff. So, the, we'll start off with the Versa. So, uh, if you saw the last video, I wrecked it. Um, went off the road, rolled it onto its side, did some pretty heavy damage. The initial estimate came in at about $7,200. The car is valued at roughly 10 to 11 grand. So that's like 60 to 70 percent of the value of the car. Um, generally, in cases where the damage is 60 to 70 percent of the value, the insurance company will declare it total because it's not worth fixing it. In this case, though, they have decided to fix the car. So my car is getting fixed as we speak. Well, probably not as we speak. Six o'clock now, but all day they probably won't work. I don't, I don't really know. So the car is getting fixed. Uh, what they're doing is they're basically going to tear out. They have to replace both doors, the side view mirror, that little window in front of the driver's window, and a couple, a couple other small things. But then the big things they're doing is they're cutting out the rocker panel on the driver's side, and they're also cutting out the B-pillar. The B-pillar is that big metal pillar that goes between the front and rear door. And I'm not a, I'm not very happy about it, but that's what they're doing, so I don't have much to say. It's up to the insurance company. Uh, people have told me, you know, you do have a say, but if that's what the insurance company wants to do, I'll go with it. I'm not going to make a fuss. So, they are fixing the car. I should have it back by the end of next week. So that's what's going on with that. Um, we'll come back to the verse in a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, I have had, you know, bills to pay. And I have to pay my car payment. Even though I won't have the car for two and a half or three weeks out of this month, still have to make the car payment. I'm still going to have to pay my deductible when they fix the car, which is about $400. So, what I have done in the meantime is I've sold the RX-7. Um, I basically got a really good offer on it, and I went with it. The guy said he could come later that day with a trailer and $1,000 in cash, and he'd take the car away. Now, I don't have that much money invested in the car, so I made money on the deal. Let's go, bud. Green light. There you go. So, I made money on it, um, you know, and girls playing rugby, it looks like, nice. So, I made money, and, you know, it's hard to see it go, but I had to pay, I had to pay the bills, pretty much. And, if I had kept going with this car, I know I would have put a lot more money into it. And by the time I was done putting that money in, the car would never be worth the amount that I put in. So I figured if I'm going to sell it, now's the time. I got to drive it a couple times, I got to work on it, I got the experience, and you know what? I don't regret it. Uh, I definitely don't. So, that's what's going on with the RX-7. Showed up, towed it away, it's gone, it's not in the driveway anymore. That's what's happening. Because I don't have the RX-7 anymore, it means I don't have a project car anymore. So, that means that we can get back to modding the Versa when I get it back. Uh, with the Versa, so far the only mods I've done are kind of like the bolt-on mods that you can switch back if you need to. I haven't done too many things that are like permanent permanent. Uh, I painted some of the trim on the inside, but I can always paint it back to a stock looking color. So I haven't done anything that's really permanent. So what I'd like to do now, because the car essentially has zero value, um, trading value is just gone on that car. Because of that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get in some more serious mods for the Versa. So in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be looking into a few things with um, fuel injectors, throttle bodies, um, different intake mods. I'm going to look into the rear disc brake conversion. I think somebody's done it with um, the disc brakes out of a Sentra. Might have been a Spec B Sentra, I'm not sure. Uh, someone's, someone's done it though. So, because somebody's done it, it's possible that I'll be able to do it. I 
hate when people turn left here. So, because someone's already done it, it's possible I might be able to do it. We're going to look into it for sure, and uh, we'll see what happens. If it doesn't require any major modifications, of course, I don't have, you know, I don't have a welder. I don't have a drill press or a lathe or any of those things. But I'm now an automotive student, and we do have those things at school, so it might be something I can look into. So we're going to look into the rear disc rate conversion. And that's about it for series mods. In the meantime, I've already ordered the DC Sports Catback Exhaust. It's a really nice exhaust system. Uh, I've heard good things about it. it. Sounds nice. They do sell a silencer you can in, you can uh, put in, which will really decrease the noise level on the car, which is good. The I've also ordered H&R Sport Springs, which uh, same thing they will uh, significantly increase the handling of the car. So, significantly increase the handling of the car. The, the white line sway bar I already have on, I'm going to be switching from the harsher setting to the softer setting. Okay. Make it a little bit easier because it's a little rough. And with the other bracing I'm planning on adding, it's going to be a rough ride, so I'd like to tone that down a little bit. And also, I've been noticing I haven't been getting a lot of grip in the corners. And while I've reduced the body roll, I've um, actually made it so that it's so stiff in the back that one of the rear wheels is just going to lose grip as soon as I take a sharp turn because all the weight is on the uh, whatever side I'm turning into or whatever. So, because of that, I kind of need to switch it down to the softer setting, or I'm going to flip the car again. Uh, but not off the road, it'll be on the road, it'll be a lot worse. Uh, so i got to take care of that. And I'm also ordering, I've already got the front strut brace, and I just said I already have the sway bar. I'm going to add the... Uh, I'm going to add under bracing from Ultra Racing. I'm also going to add the Ultra Bracing rear strut tower brace and I'm going to add the ultra racing trunk brace. Uh, between those braces I should have plenty of stiffness in the chassis. I shouldn't have any problems with that. It'll uh, make me feel a little better considering they're welding in half a new car basically. So that's what I'll be doing with that. We get the springs, the exhaust. It's going to be good to go. Uh, the car has been renamed already. It's been renamed Franken Car. And uh, the reason for that is obvious. You know, they're putting half a new car on the side of it, basically. And I'm going to be putting in as many parts from as many different cars as I can find at this point. We're also going to do a, a battery location for the trunk, even out the weight a bit. But so I am going to be doing some, hopefully, some really cool mods soon. We'll be including, of course, I'll have videos for everything, but I'm going to be checking out scrapyards, looking for uh, parts I can put in, some different things I can do with the car, and uh, you'll just have to wait and see, and we'll see what the, uh, the Versus still got plans for me. So, we just got to wait and see what those plans are. But I think that's it for now, guys. Um... I could give you a review of this car, but I'm sure you've watched this video long enough and you probably don't care. It's a Super Forester. I don't think it drives well at all. I think it's shit. I also think the rental car we got is not that good. We got a Toyota Yaris. It's like a base model. It's, it's also shit. Uh, it feels really cheap, but it looks like someone threw up on the driver's seat. Or they had diarrhea, one of the two. Uh, also could give you a, uh, a review of my brother's new car. He just bought a Dodge Charger. We've already had to fix the transmission because it was leaking, and I think it drives like shit and feels like shit too. I just missed my Versa, and I want it back. So that's it for now, guys. I'm back at the house. You can see I'm parking on this side of the driveway because there's no more RX-7 here. So that's it, and I uh, will see you later.